So it's a shift, like, and here's the shift that has to happen. If you're going to be a believing body of people that is sent from here and is going to see increase with the kingdom wherever you go, you have to move from this manna mindset into this co-missioning mindset that Jesus says, we're going to do some things together. Over here, he's just providing, which is amazing. Listen, especially early on in our Christian life, I don't know if you're like me, there's just times where it's like God was just so good. He's answering every prayer like that you had. Stuff's just showing up. Man is just showing up from heaven, and it's amazing. And you're like, this is going to be how it always works, and God always feels like this. This is how he shows up. It's so dynamic how he comes and worships. I worship him, and I cry like you have all these experiences. And then you begin to move and grow in God, and all of a sudden he, it doesn't happen like it did before. Did he stop loving you? Did he leave you? Or is he calling you into something that he wants to do with you together? And this is what it looks like to grow up and be a body of Christ, the body of Christ that carries Christ, that carries the kingdom, that understands that our calling is a co-mission together. So stick with me, okay? Don't, don't leave me. This man of mindset, like it's easy, it's comfortable, it makes me pretty complacent. I don't have to do anything. And we like that. We like that. It shows up at the same time, like I can get up, God just does it. But what happens over here when we go into the New Testament and we see Jesus leave in Matthew 28 and he leaves with this commission. He leaves with the great co-mission. He commissioned a co-mission, which means there's two people involved. And we'd rather sit over here and say, man, I love the sovereignty of God. Que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. Praise God, he's sovereign. But praise God, he leaves us with responsibility. His sovereignty isn't leaving us without responsibility of something to do while we're still here. And this is the difference between a church that just says, hey, I'm going to haul up and hold up and hold out and stay safe versus the ones that are still accepting the co-mission to go do together, to go into all the world, which just means people groups. Like all the world literally just translates to people groups. What's the people group? Is it the guy in the cubicle next to you? Perfect, that's your people. Are you showing up at basketball games because all your kids are playing that? That's your people. And he's calling us out of this mindset. He says, I expect all this to happen. And God's over here saying, I want you to grow and we're going to do some things together.